The first time I walked into the Moog Sound Lab, my jaw dropped. There's like the Fairlight and the System 55. You know, these are like historical scents. <laughs> you know, like they're fucking awesome. They're legendary. And so it is both intimidating to be around them and then very exciting when you realize what they're capable of. The first thing that happened was we, we really wanted to make something with the System 55 because of the incredible power of the sound that it was putting out. So started with a very simple kind of post-punk beat for us or like crowd rock beat or whatever. And the relationship between the sounds that were happening on the System 55 and what was being echoed on the Model D were good enough that we kind of like decided to form a whole song around that, which may not have happened if we weren't allowed to plug everything into everything else. You know? The song that we did in the Sound Lab is called Galapagos. I was thinking about the formation of islands and archipelagos and how it is kind of a form of the Earth renewing itself, making itself new. And then there's imagery in the song about holding someone up to the light to see that their heart's beating. So I was thinking about candling eggs and the really arbitrary connection between the way that that looks and the way that an archipelago looks in the midst of the ocean. Thinking about how life is like a series of very small, delicate things connected to each other. Everybody should make music. I think a lot of people feel like music is intimidating, the tools are intimidating, but it's an important form of expression. And I think it's important for people to understand that it's not difficult to make music. It's really fun and liberating. the time if I'm not paying attention, I am going to be motivated by some kind of anxiety. So if I want to feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile and not just a kind of like half-assed completion of a goal, then I have to let my motivation be making somebody happy, you know, doing something for somebody else. I feel like most of my life I was setting goals based on what I thought was expected of me. Even if nobody was really paying attention, I have an idea of what my family thinks I should be doing. And that need to impress the people that I love was leading me to make goals based on ambition and success. And I feel like it's only in the past couple of years that I have kind of by force of circumstance been made to, to understand that the relationships that I have, I want to be what I'm setting goals around, you know? I want to know the people that I love better. I want to become a better person for them. Bring back the guns. I don't feel like I fit into the world, you know? But I think it's important to remember that Anybody worth knowing feels that way, at least some of the time. I just need to be honest with myself more than anything else. I need to remember to be honest with myself.
back again.